Hi, I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And we want to continue with part two of Did God Really Say That? Mm. And we want to really hit hard today on the timing mm. that takes place when God does share something with us or when God does speak something to mm. us. And this is both if somebody has spoken to us prophetically or if we feel like God has shown us or told us something mm -hmm. directly to us. Mm -hmm. the, the timing is one of the most critical aspects of, of this period. This, yes. you know, if we That's get right. the timing mm -hmm. wrong, then everything else becomes a mess. Yes. We want you to focus on the timing right because that is crucial it's the most it's the most important part of all of this so when when we get a word mm -hmm. whether god speaks directly to us or mm -hmm. he confirms what he's already showed us through a pro prophet or a, a prophetic word yep. um it's important the first thing is to go to him and to you know just make sure that it's it's for us yeah clarify it with clarify him. it with Verify god it. and then focus on the timing mm. Don't think about running out there right. and, and getting this thing going mm -hmm. um, or talking to a lot of people about it. Right. Just hold it. Sometimes the best thing to do is not say anything to anybody because right. when we start going to others and saying, well, God told me this, God shared this with me, yeah. you know, God said this is going to happen. What happens then is we start to listen to the things that people are telling mm. us. And mm -hmm. number one, either they discourage us. Yeah. Or number two, well, they over encourage us right. and we end up like Pastor Ellie was saying, we end up running out mm -hmm. and we start to set all these things in order and do all these things and take all these steps. Yes. And all of a sudden we're out of God's timing right. because we took it into our own hands. That's right. So we want to share an example directly from God's word today mm -hmm. about God's timing and how when we get out of God's timing, mm -hmm. it creates a huge mess. That's right. So let's talk today about Abraham and Sarah. Mm -hmm. God had promised Abraham and Sarah a son. Mm -hmm. Now Abraham and Sarah, they were just, they were old. There's, mm -hmm. there's no way, uh, there's no other way to say it. That's they right. were old. They, were old. they you know, <laughs> God's word says they were old. They mm -hmm. were a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. They were old. Um, and yet God had promised them a son. Yeah. And Abraham just kind of took it and figured, well, if God said it, then it'll be so. Mm -hmm. And he was okay with that. Yeah. But Sarah, she had a little trouble with that. Mm. And she got impatient after a while. Mm -hmm. And, you know, over time, she got more and more impatient and her mm -hmm. faith began to shrink. Yes. And because of that, she decided to take things into her own hands. Mm. And, you know, as the story goes, Sarah went to Abraham and said, you know, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't look like this is really going to happen. So why don't you go ahead and, and have a baby with my servant, mm -hmm. Hagar? Mm -hmm. And, you know, Abraham, for whatever reason, said, okay. And so... Abraham and Hagar got together and the next thing you know there's a son born yeah. and his name was Ishmael mm. and Ishmael and, and Hagar became a huge problem for Sarah and Abraham right. and over time God did answer and mm. did fulfill his promise and he did give Sarah her own son yeah. and his name was Isaac yeah. and Isaac was was like the apple of, of Abraham's eye. I mean, yeah. you know, Abraham loved him with mm -hmm. everything he had. He loved Ishmael too, yes. because Ishmael was still his own son, mm -hmm. but but Isaac was a child of promise. Promise, he was yes. And and he was a fulfillment of a promise that God had spoken to Abraham and yes. Sarah. Mm -hmm. And over time, Abraham eventually had to pack Hagar and Ishmael's belongings yes. and send them That's away right. yeah. and th you know there's a lot that goes on with that if you look you know beyond them leaving and you look at history and the things that took place 
the people of Ishmael became warriors mm. and they became a people who were constantly in battle mm -hmm. and they've they've caused a lot of trouble throughout history since then mm -hmm. um, but we're, we're gonna stay on track and talk more about what what really happened here yes you know Sarah first of all didn't believe God right she, when, when that word was spoken yeah. she did she laughed mm -hmm. and and you know she paid a price for that Mm -hmm. But ultimately, she took things into her own hands mm -hmm. and created a mess. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens when we do the same thing. Right. You know, when God speaks to us mm -hmm. and he says something, he tells us something, either something, you know, that he says is going to happen or he just shares something with us that he wants us to know. Yeah. If we're not careful and we don't, first of all, get clarity from God, mm. verify it with him, mm -hmm. and then next ask him, okay, God, what do you want me to do now, if anything? Yeah. If you want me to do something, what is it and when do I do it? Right. And it's that timing. Mm, yes. It's the timing that yes. is so critical. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we all have trouble with mm -hmm. because you know what? We're all impatient. Mm -hmm. Our timing is so different than God's timing. We want everything now. And we have to learn, you yeah. know, we have to learn that mm -hmm. we have to wait on God. Yeah. Um, he doesn't just show us things and say, here, now right. you take the ball and run with it. Mm -hmm. He just, he shows us to prepare us and to get us ready for what he wants to mm -hmm. do. And if there's a step involved, he'll show us that step. Right. You know, but we have to right. wait and we have to be patient and mm -hmm. we have to listen and you know, draw close to him so that when he does show us the next step. You just step, hit the nail on the head right that there. That we know what to yeah. do and we know where to go and right. we have a piece about it when mm -hmm. we're moving into the different right. things that we mm -hmm. need to do on our end. Yeah. It's just, it's very interesting and it's a lot of fun when we get, when we when get, we get it. it. Yeah. And when we say, okay, yes, you know, whether it's a prophetic word or whether God just spoke to us one-on-one, -on -one, Mm -hmm. we, we hear it and the first thing we do is we get excited yeah. because it is exciting mm -hmm. when God shows us something and it's already a desire mm -hmm. in our heart to do this yeah. a lot of times it is a desire that's already there and yeah. he's just confirming the desire that he put in us because mm -hmm. you know it's just exciting and then when he when he says it that it's going to happen it just it's an automatic reaction for us to get excited yeah. and we should get excited yeah we should and get we excited should thank him and praise right. him and whatnot but you know it's one thing to get excited and it's another thing to start running with it right so we right. have to pull back and that's the discipline that we have to have yeah after receiving a word from god mm -hmm. discipline ourselves and say wait on the timing yeah wait for the steps yeah. don't try to do it ourselves right you know, nobody because... likes nobody likes waiting and nobody likes discipline those are two very very hard things for all of us right and if know? we try to do it on our own we're going to get into trouble just yeah. you know and then we'll be running to god again saying help <laughs> help me so um, so just hang in there if yeah. god has spoken to you he, he's given you a prophetic word mm -hmm. or if he has spoken to you personally um hang in there because he's going to show you if he's told you that he wants to have he wants to bring it to pass right. in our lives mm -hmm. he wants it to happen but we can ruin it mm, by stepping sure out of the timing yeah. we can ruin it we can mess mm -hmm. it up so hang in there yeah. take your time listen for god wait on god mm -hmm. and let him walk it out and the most important thing that that you said just a minute ago was draw near to god yeah because when we draw right. near to god all those other things become easier. Yes, it becomes easier right. to be patient. Mm -hmm. It becomes easier to wait for him right. to give us the next step. It becomes easier yes. to listen and hear mm -hmm. his voice. Yes. If we draw near to him, yeah. everything else becomes clearer. Everything else becomes easier. Yes, it does. And everything else just just becomes, it becomes peaceful. And yes. peace surrounds us yes, as we draw right. near to him. That's right. So, Amen. you know, there there's more that we can teach on on this and we will do that in the yes. future um but be sure that what you're hearing is god mm -hmm. go to him verify it get clarity yes and then if you if you feel like yes god told me it's it was him it's true mm. then we need to get that timing and get the next steps and just 
just follow him every inch of the way. That's right. And let him unfold it and mm -hmm. bring it to pass yes. and show us what mm -hmm. we need to do on our end mm -hmm. to fulfill it. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we hope this has helped. We hope mm -hmm. this has shed some light on some things that, that maybe are a little hard to understand sometimes. Yes. We hope that it will even help some people who have maybe started stepping out in a certain direction and you're not sure. Mm. Um, if you're not sure, don't take another step. No. Wait no. for God. Wait to get clarity. Right. And please pass the video around to others so yes. that they can learn from it. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to let us know. Either send us a message through YouTube, through yes. Facebook. Send us an email. Call us, whatever you'd like to do. Yes. And we will do our best to try to answer your questions and help you out. And in the meantime, keep pressing into God. Yes. Stay close yeah. to Him. Yes. And and just watch as He unfolds everything before you. Mm -hmm. And and just enjoy enjoy, enjoy the blessings yes, of God. Right. Amen. All right. Till the next video. You guys take care. We love you all. We love you. And we appreciate your prayers. Yes. And we we're do. praying for all of you. Yes. Right. Take care now. Bye bye. Bye bye.